Hi, my name is Frederick Bryan, and for my ECE 470 vehicle electronics class project, I decided to build an ultrasonic distance sensor using a Maxbotix speaker and an Arduino Uno. The discussion of the hardware. This is the Maxbotix speaker, the EZ2 model. The speaker has its own integrated hardware. It has a, a PIC processor on the back that does all the um, sending and receiving. Uh, every 49 milliseconds it sends out a series of pulses um, and determines the distance and uh, creates an analog voltage proportional to that distance on the output pin. This is a four digit seven segment display from uh, SparkFun. This is the Arduino Uno with the real meat being the Altel uh, 18 mega processor. I've broken out the digital outputs in green to the breadboard the analog outputs in red and in blue are the 5 volt and ground signals that I use to power the display and the speaker. For this project I've used USB power but it can also be plugged into the wall using a, a 9 volt adapter. The final component of this is my laptop. The Arduino is programmed using a, a semi-C programming language and there's an IDE for both uh, Windows and Mac. Uh, and it's programmed right over the an ordinary USB cable, so it's quite convenient. In this clip, I've got the first implementation going. Uh, I'm not yet using the display, but I'm printing uh, the distances serially to the computer. So um, this is useful for debugging. Uh, you can see here two different distances, 54 and 5, as I move my hand. Uh, and this continues to print, um, having it print one per millisecond. This is my second implementation. Um, I've got the display running and I've got it printing every 50 milliseconds. Um, so, or changing the display every 50 milliseconds, so it's kind of jittery. Uh, so, I wanted to slow that down um, in the third implementation, which is coming up. And this third implementation, I'm going to start, I'm going to show you the whole process. So, it's got kind of like a startup, a three flash, and then 20 quick flashes that you can't see quite there. And as you can see in this one, it's much more stable. Uh, I'm taking the median of uh, 15 samples. Uh, each sample is 10 milliseconds apart. So the sampling rate is uh, just under 7 hertz. All right, in this clip, I've got a kind of like a real world demo. Um, I'll go ahead and start it over. Um, you can see the startup sequence again. Three flashes and then uh, quick flash. Now it's sensing. I've got my tape measure super scientifically duct taped to the table. Uh, and I've got a piece of wood, um, which is a great backboard for this sound. Uh, forgive my kind of sloppy camera work. I'm trying to do everything with two hands. So I'm set up, and that said 39. You can't quite read that, and it's yeah, upside down. 39. Uh, and right here, it's 41. So it's not bad back up a little bit. This is about as far as I could get in my, in my living room here. Um, I would said 69 and this is at just over 71. Um, so that's not bad for uh, about 60 bucks worth of stuff. And this is just one more last quick little demo um, set up so you can actually read the uh, LED display. Uh, there's me and my board so I'm gonna walk away and you can see and it refreshes very quick, um, more quickly than you could tell. Uh, and it works just as well on soft objects like me and my jeans um, as it does on the harder, flatter object like the piece of wood. And I uh, well, hope you enjoy my project. Uh, thank you.